So Corrin and Bayonetta just came out last night. Is what I would say if I actually had stuck to my schedule instead of waiting like a week and a half to start making this video, but nevertheless, they are both here. We're going to be taking a look at the far more interesting character Bayonetta first, as opposed to, you know, generic anime swordsman number 13 over here. It's really nice to see that at least one good Smash Ballot candidate made it in, but man, it sure would have been nice to get two characters that people actually wanted to see in the game. Anyway, Nintendo's continuous terrible business practices aside, this video is late as is, so let's just go ahead and hop right into what makes makes Bayonetta such a good-ass character. Yeah. Aside from, you know, already having such a good ass, am I- am I right, fellas? Can I get an amen over here? I mean, y you know what I'm talking about. Fucking God, how I pray for death to take me soon. Okay, I just want to take a second and start off by gushing about how Bayonetta is probably the funnest character out of the entire Smash 4 roster. She's got super tight controls, she can combo fools like no other, and she's a perfect blend of speed and power, making her an absolute blast to play. Bayonetta is, in my humble opinion, one of, if not the best designed characters in the entire game. Everything about her is just so much fun to use, from her aerials, to her tilts, to her badass smash attacks, to her specials, hell, even her counter is fun as fuck to use. I mean, how many people can you say that for? Let me tell you something, there are few things on this earth more satisfying than summoning a giant demon foot to stomp on a time-frozen enemy. I mean, if that doesn't scream fun to you, then please just stop watching this video because I want absolutely nothing to do with you. One of the most notable things about Bayonetta is the fact that she has guns. Not like a laser gun or a plasma cannon or some baby cartoony shit like that. No, I'm talking she has straight-up lead-firing pistols, which is pretty violent when you think about it. I mean, way to push the E10 Plus rating, Nintendo. And since there are so many children characters in Smash 4, I can now officially say that I can play as a fully grown adult and shoot children in the face with pistols in an officially licensed Nintendo game. So, props to you guys, I've been waiting a long time to be able to say that. Speaking of which, I- <laughs> which, I'm still kind of in shock that Bayonetta managed to make it in given the fact that she comes from an M-rated game. I mean, I just think that's kind of surprising, you know? And I already know what all of you are going to say. Oh, but Ouija, Snake was in Brawl and he was from an M-rated game, you fucking idiot! Well, yeah, true, but he wasn't showing off his giant tits and ass and sliding around like an erotic dancer in all of his animations like Bayonetta over here. Not that there's anything wrong with that, mind you. I mean, hey, I'm most certainly not complaining. You know, as much as I hate dittos, I gotta say, Bayonetta dittos? Tightest shit ever. All the time freezing, all the shooting, the comboing, the, the bat materializing. There's just so much going on at once. I, I love it. It also, more importantly, allows me to validate the fact that I'm hands down the greatest Bayonetta player in all of existence. I mean, I'm still yet to find someone even half as skilled as I am. Out of all the dittos I played, and trust me, I got all of this footage the night Bayonetta came out, so I've certainly played a lot, I still haven't lost a single match. I guess it all just boils down to pure 100% raw ability, which is something I got in spades. Like just take a look at this dum dum over here, I'm about to dunk on this fool so goddamn hard you have no idea. Ready for this? Ready? Down air, activate! Original position. Yeah. That one doesn't count. No, no, that one wasn't- I mean, I didn't- th th That one didn't count! No, fuck you! Th that didn't count! Okay, fine, fine, I'll admit. Maybe I do have just a little bit more learning to do before I master the ins and outs of this complex beast, but my point still stands that I am the best Bayonetta player in the entire game, and anyone who disagrees with me is objectively wrong, and also I'm being 100% serious right now, I swear. Like right here, for example, I know what you're all probably thinking. You're kinda getting your ass beat, and yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? but I assure you, this is all planned. Now that I have a healthy amount of rage, all I gotta do to take out this dragonkin weirdo is throw out a quick down air, followed by a hail of gunfire. Now this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is some next level edge guarding if I've ever seen it. Alright, this corn right here wants a rematch, and I can tell she's very heavily salted right now over how last game went, so that makes my chances of stomping on her again go through the roof, and if you know me at all, you know I'm not one to turn down free wins. You can call me Chris Brown, because I'm about to punch the ever-loving fuck out of this bitch right now! 
That joke's still relevant, right? I mean, yeah, I'm sure no one's gonna get offended by it or anything, and yeah, it's fine. It's it's fine. Oh, we got a teabagger, eh? All right, fine. How about you come over here and teabag on this fist, you fucking jag? I hate you! I fucking hate you, Corin! So yeah, that's pretty much how you play Bayonetta.